that have, uh, there are above 500. With Dallas behind Cleveland, so the importance is there. Minnesota wants to finish as high as they can in the standings. They bring it back to start the third quarter. Fogarty in a 2-2 tie-up for David Byrne. For Alan Willig. Knocked back to Fogarty. Now to Lota Vegas, just short of the midfield line. Up the left wing side. Alan Willey knocked away by Topolsky. Adam cutting it for Zeke Kapka over the midfield line. Z on the rush, going long, but Lota Vegas backheeled it away from Paul Child. It's kicked away by Latiri for Alan Willey. Willey will settle it. Plays it back into his own box for Fogarty, and he calmly plays it to Tino Latiri. Ingram trying to put the chase on him here. Now on the left wing side, it is Lota Vegas. Pittsburgh knows that they can bust a gut or two here because they're not going to play again until Saturday. So uh, there's no no time really to be tired in this one. You've got a long way to go before your next game, and it's a do-or-die game for Pittsburgh. And that's why they're putting on high pressure right now, just going all out, trying to win the ball and get onto the attack. Topolsky up the left side. Paul Child knocking it back for Dave McKenzie. On the right side it comes, Helmut Dudek, long shot through a screen, and Latari catches that one. Didn't see it until the last minute. That one started to curve almost from the time he kicked it. You might, want, you might see Pittsburgh starting to shoot from the outside to get some pressure on the defenders or for the defenders to come out and then open up some space behind them. And maybe hope for a rebound if the first shot doesn't go in. You see in with it, neutral zone, Minnesota attacks left to right this quarter. Pittsburgh right to left, Minnesota with the ball. And a 2-2 tie to boot. Goosens going right side for Yusin. McKenzie tracking Goosens. Yusin plays it in for Katsukas. One in a turn. Gives it up right side. Goosens off the glass. Wide of Katsukas who was looking for a rebound. Tasso will control it. Now center point. Thompson right back the other way to Gary Etherington. In the neutral zone on his own side. Plays it. Right side now to the left for Yusin. Thompson Yusin looking. Now it's Willie. Back out for you seeing from 50 feet, chipping it for Willie. Nice shot blocked by Versich on the short side, but a great job by Willie to control that ball. I took an air ball, chest trapped it, and then took it out of the air and simply shot on goal. But uh, Versich was very alert, hugging the near post, came up with the save. The USA out of town scoreboard, Chicago leads Kansas City. Two to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Earhart Cap plays it back now for David Versich. Versich holding it. Throwing it long for Simi, he's picked off. And now Pittsburgh will get it back. One thing they can't afford is giveaways like that because the way the track record has gone, those giveaways have cost them. Ball ends up in the back of their net. Simi's right wing side of the neutral zone, Minnesota's side on the left wing side for Topolsky. Over the line, waits for O'Hara to go. Feeds O'Hara off the right wing boards. Johnny knocks it to the corner. Broken up by Thompson and he clears it out. Topolsky back on it, right wing. Left side, Earhart Cap over midfield. Across the attack line, Cap cutting to the middle. Lays it out for Sibis. Ian runs it into traffic. Knocked over to Freddy Gergerev. Out for Topolsky from 60. Broken up, and this could be a breakaway for Cummins, and it is over midfield. O'Hara tracking him from behind. Cummins on the breakaway. Fans now shoots it wide. Rebound. Open man David Byrne has to settle. Can't get a good shot away. And Pittsburgh gets a big, big break as they clear it out. Very fortunate for Pittsburgh there as Cummins came wide, came down on the pose and simply had Versich to beat, hand on the shot and fake Versich, but then was unable to find a handle. Pittsburgh, very fortunate. Sibby's now in the corner, setting one high and wide. Off the glass, it comes to the near side. I don't believe Cummins faked on that. I think he did fan because as he, as he missed it, all of a sudden uh, he was open because Versich went for that first move, but exactly. he missed it. Exactly, and then he shot wide, and the ball came off the boards, and they and Minnesota had another opportunity and was unable to find the handle, and Pittsburgh very fortunate there. Here comes Minnesota one more time over midfield, three on three on the break. You see in and Katsukas crisscross, Tasso forgets the ball, now he'll get it back. Right side, good run, Lota Vegas, but he nips it wide of the far post. Goosen's trying to play it in, knocked away by Pittsburgh. But again, Lota Vegas waits for the last minute and then joins in the attack, and he was unmarked. Katsukas in midfield, plays it for him, but McKenzie had them all tied up, and Mack will be back for it. Dave McKenzie in his own zone with 10.25 to go in the third quarter. It's even, two apiece. All the way back to Versich. On the left side for O'Hara, lets it go for Godfrey Ingram. Godfrey over midfield, into the attack zone. He leads the spirit in scoring and in shots. Right side, Kapka blocked. Picked up by David Byrne. Byrne sending it back now to Lota Vegas. 
Pittsburgh has to be a little bit careful on these big shots that they're taking because if it's blocked as the last two were, Minnesota can go to the races. Marr in the intercept brings it in over the line. Kevin toes it left. Leite open a shot off the crossbar and out. A wicked drive by Leite. Kevin Marr fed him well. And he had Letary going down, and Marcio saw it, shot upstairs, but too high, ball hit the crossbar. Marcio again, shooting it in, as Letary got caught out of the net. Pittsburgh will take a 3-2 lead. Marcio on his right foot won the ball off the boards. Letary thought his team had it, and he got caught. He's yelling at his teammates, but I thought that was a goalkeeper's error. It was. They were on the Lente gets his second goal of the night, his 20th of the year. Pittsburgh leads again. Three to two, it's unassisted. He took it off a Minnesota player. Here's you see in a long shot, punched out. Rebound, header goal. Stan Cummins was unmarked in the box. And it's tied very quickly, just seconds apart. Stan Cummins gets his second goal. First shot taken was a rocket by you see, and Versus punched it out. But beating Klincharski was Cummins, and he just headed it by David Versus. No way for David to get back up and make the second save. As happened so often to Pittsburgh this year, they've scored a goal and then just re simply relaxed. And Minnesota came right back firing. Stan Cummins that time uh, doing the, uh, the work for Minnesota. Dudek shoots it through a screen, but it's broken up. 5.30, the time of the goal. You see in the assists on the goal scored by Minnesota to tie it. Leturi catches the ball in the box after it was played back from the neutral zone, but the officials missed it. Now Simmons intercepts. Ian cutting, shooting, blocked by Greg Thompson. Good opportunity goes by the boards. Poor distribution by Leturi. Simmons read it, but unable to convert. Unusual for Tino to cop it up like that. In the corner, Katsukas in the spirit zone. Holes off the boards. Versich knocks it to the near side. Picked up by Goosens. Out to Thompson in the box. Katsukas wants to turn. Dudek and Kontrowski won't let him. Helmet goes down now to pushing foul on Minnesota. No, I think Leturi lost that ball in the distribution because he knew he handled it and there was no whistle call. I think it just shook him and he tried to get rid of it too quickly and uh, the reaction and the reflex wasn't there. McKenzie will bring it up over midfield. Pittsburgh gives it that goal 11 seconds after, uh, after I thought they got a big goal on a turnover by Minnesota. Oh, just when it looked like Pittsburgh was taking control of the game, they got the big goal, the lead goal, they're able to play now, and uh, Minnesota with a very alert and uh, high hustle was able to come right back 11 seconds afterwards and a goal by Cummins, and it's back to a tie, 3-3. Cummins up the middle, picked off by John O'Hara. Slides it left for Adam Topolsky. Adam holding it near midfield. Plays it back for Erhard Cap on the left wing side. It goes to O'Hara. He and Alan Willey collide. Willey comes away with it. Alan Willey to the left wing side. Lola Vegas holding it. Cutting nicely, but then lost it to Erhard Cap. And O'Hara will tackle it away from everybody. And all the way back into the Minnesota striker zone it goes. Ken Fogarty on it. Up the middle on the feed. Blocked by Sapolsky. Good read. He knocks it loose to Child. Back for Ingram. Chipped into the corner. Some creativity here for Pittsburgh. Child on the right wing corner. Turn, spins, shoots, and it's blocked by Lota Vegas. O'Hara comes in. Cuts it up for Ingram. The shot blocked by the strikers, Lota Vegas. Pittsburgh with it now again. Ingram from 50. Cuts to the middle. Too much traffic to beat, and he's broken up. Willie coming back two on three, and now two on four, so he'll slow down. 7.20 to go. Willie really read quarter. it well. He, was say, he saw that they were numerically down, was able to hold up, play the ball back, and then regroup offensively. You see it hit along the boards by O'Hara. Play goes on. John O'Hara to the left wing side for Kapka. Z for Child. Child waits for someone to break. No one doing that. So it's sent right back out into the neutral zone. Dave McKenzie there. Running it to the left wing. He may use the boards here. He's in deep off the boards for Ingram. He can't find it. It comes back out into the neutral zone. O'Hara quickly for McKenzie. Mack of the red line of Minnesota. Now comes back neutral zone. Sidestepping around Goosens who trips him. Wow. Which could have very easily been a couple minutes on Goosens. David McKenzie using his offensive skills going forward and going one on one on Goosens. O'Hara for McKenzie in the left corner. Child holding it, settling it, flipping it back for O'Hara. Block picked up by Fogarty. Up it comes for Goosens, who has one goal tonight for Yusin. It's tied at three, 6.33 to go. Usian and McKenzie collide. They're going to call a foul on Dave McKenzie. First spirit foul. There are a couple. 
for Minnesota. Thompson plays it in quickly to Katsukas. Tasso, 40 feet away, drills a shot and hit off someone and then bounced up into the arms of Bursich. On the right, it's Godfrey Ingram. For McKenzie, just short of his own red line. Mack going along. Off the board, Z Captain. Picked up by Katsukas. Kapka holding it. Waiting, sending it out for Adam Topolsky. Adam from 70 feet. Leads into the right wing boards area, broken up. Simmies will knock it once. It goes into the crowd out of play. And we'll get an official's time out here. And there'll be a corner kick when we return for the the, uh, the finish, the finishing touches that you so long look for. Good chance here for Pittsburgh. They have a corner kick, remember, when play resumes and Simi stands over the ball. On with Gerger, Kapka, Dudek, and Topolsky. Simi's out for Topolsky. Let's it go for Dudek on the left. The shot off the post to the near side. Kapka tried to head it up, broken up. Alan Woolley after it. Topolsky knocks it back in. Simi's heading it down. Thompson after it. Dudek. Picking it up, puts the brakes on, double team. Brings it back on his right foot, plays it for Sibbies, give and go. Dudek, left wing, bad angle, a shot blocked by Lota Vegas. Kapka hustling back to win the ball. Dudek keeping it alive along the board, sends it back the other way, and Alan Willey settles it dangerously. But Minnesota comes away with it. It's working very hard offensively and defensively. A lot of movement now, and uh, they're a lot looser than they were in the first half. David Byrne goes left for Stan Cummins, who's been the offensive star for Minnesota with a couple of goals. Cummins holding it. I should say a couple of goals. They may change it. They've given the first goal to Dangerfield for some reason. John O'Hara will bring it back up. O'Hara holding it. Still with it. Right side to Polsky from 60. For Gerger, off his foot, broken up. Greg Thompson will take it. For Alan Woolley on the left. <laughs> Woolley being bothered by Klincharski. And now wins it back for David Byrne. Minnesota brings it up over midfield. David Byrne on the run. Byrne goes back. Goosens from the right wing along the boards. Played it back the other way. Klincharski blocks it. O'Hara clears it out. Sibby's after, but Etherington will win that race. All the way back. Tino Letary. Now for Etherington. 4.25 to go third quarter. Even at three. Most of this game has been spent even, whether it was 0-0, 1-1, 2-2, or 3-3. Neither team has held the lead for a long period of time. Pittsburgh held it the shortest, 11 seconds. Foul call in Minnesota to be their third. Direct kick for Pittsburgh coming up about 30 feet from goal to the left of Tino Letary. Sibbies ready to strike it. He smacks it hard first time. It's deflected to Klintreski in the box. The crowd there. It's loose. Towed out to Leite. Marcia has it knocked away by Usian. Leite after it. Knocks it back to John O'Hare in the neutral zone. Right side, McKenzie. For Sibbies. Back for Mac. Back for Sibbies. Knocked away. Give and go in some tight quarters there. O'Hara will get it back to Pittsburgh. 3.48 to go. Pittsburgh Third using quarter. the field a little bit better than they first, in the, as in the first half. Uh, the passes are much longer and crisper. And uh, consequently, they're having much more ball possession and opportunities at goal. You see now sends it back into the neutral zone. Gary Etherington holding it. Back for you see him. Brings it in against O'Hara. Cuts to the right. Knocks it near side boards for Katsukas. Back to the midfield line for Etherington. Now on the left. Fogarty. Up the left wing for Usian. Sends it right back to Fogarty. Minnesota trying to get some ball possession. Stretch Pittsburgh out defensively and then maybe make that killer pass if they can. Up for Willie. He lets it go. He tried to get it loose for Katsukas. Cap on the run back over midfield. Cuts it near side for Leite. Lota Vegas will beat him there with help from Usian. Pittsburgh wanted and should have gotten a handball call, but Armando Richard doesn't see it. Lead pass, meanwhile, the other way. For Katsukas, outside the box, drills it. Blocked by Topolsky. Good block by Adam. Katsukas getting it right back. Blocked by Kevin Marr. For Leite, who leaves it for Topolsky. In the spirit zone, Adam will start to run out. Lead ball, Marr was behind the defense. Kevin outside the box. The shot score! Kevin Marr will get his first goal of the year. And he couldn't have picked a better time for that. Last year he scored nine goals, but he had obviously 
a lot more playing time. Sapolsky with a kill pass. The other way comes Goosens. In the attack zone, broken up by McKenzie. Adam looked up, and maybe the crowd helped him because you could hear the cheering, and he looked up, and there was Kevin open behind the defense. Got up a nice left-footed shot from out, just outside the box to the right of Lettieri. Now it is Ingram in the neutral zone on Minnesota's side. Let's see if Pittsburgh can get two straight goals. They've done that once before when they trail one nothing, then they took a 2-1 lead, but they've never led by two. Neither has Minnesota. England's pass is blocked. Minnesota will get it. The strikers with the ball at their own red. David Byrne gives it off on the left wing side for Cummins. Back it goes to Greg Thompson. Now on the right side, Minnesota brings it all the way in. Kafka plays it back to Zeke Kafka, updating you on a U.S. Air out of town score, but Chicago with another goal. They lead 3 0 over Kansas City. Child off the boards. Letary missed it, and Ingram overran it. That ball came off the boards too fast for him. Bit of bad luck there for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh stretching it out, going from end to end now. There's a lot of space. Low to Vegas. Trying to put it in. It's knocked back, and Ingram will get it. Right back it goes to Versus. You're right about one thing, though. It's starting to open up more. Adam Topolsky back for Helmut Dulek. Inside his own red line. Pittsburgh leading at 4 to 3. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Clancharski back to the feet of David Versich. Up the left wing side for Sibbies. Sends it back for Dudek. Three fouls of Minnesota. One on Pittsburgh. Dudek's pass knocked away by Lota Vegas. Lota Vegas along the far boards. Sending it back to the feet of Tino Letieri. 35 seconds left. Third quarter. 4 3 Pittsburgh lead. Upfield for Usian. Thompson Usian. In over the line. Dudek back to defend. Versich comes out. Wins the ball. Picked off by Fogarty. As Bursich hustles back, but Pittsburgh will get the ball back with 20 seconds. It goes out of play. We'll take it through a quick break. 4-3, Pittsburgh and the Spirit Soccer Network. Coming up for Minnesota with seven seconds left in the quarter. Quarter number three. Pittsburgh leads by a goal, four to three. Minnesota with a chance here. Katsukas from 45 feet out. Five seconds left to Fogarty. Knocked toward the box. Knocked away. Time running out. Cities wisely chipping it, but the horn sounded over the head of Letary, who had gone up near his own red line. That's it for three quarters. Pittsburgh leading by one. Don't go away. We'll be right back with the deciding fourth quarter on the Spirit Soccer Network. Fourth quarter set to begin. These two teams have averaged 10 goals a game when they've played against each other, so this is a little bit low for them at this stage, but there's still another quarter to go. I can remember, though, that wild game here, that 8-7 game when Pittsburgh had a 5-0 five, five lead. And then uh, David Burns scored with time running out in the first quarter, and that was a wild one. And Minnesota won it. OT. Ball played upfield now to Gergerup. Minnesota has done well with Pittsburgh this year. They've beaten them four out of five. Dudek. Sending it long. Too long. It goes out of play. The last time in here on February 21st was the only win for Pittsburgh this year against Minnesota because Minnesota beat them three straight times up there. And interesting enough, Bruno, here's a fact for you. Minnesota has beaten San Diego three times this year. They're the only team that has an unblemished record against San Diego. So if that ever happens in a, in a playoff series in the final championship, Minnesota's got that going in there. Isn't that amazing? You know, certain teams play very well against certain teams. That's right. And here, Minnesota really has taken uh, San Diego to the cleaners this year. But not just San Diego. Uh, in, in Baltimore, last year's uh, defending champ, uh, the Eastern Division, they are handled them very well, too. I think with the combined score of 7-1 uh, to one over San Diego and Baltimore. Tripping strikers. Tripping on Minnesota. Quickly, it's played in and too quickly, says Bill Maxwell. So they'll do it again. Restart from the near wing side. 
score that our hockey fans might be interested in. New Jersey and the New York Rangers in the second period tied at two. Penguins hoping that the Devils will help them out tonight. Godfrey Ingram playing into the box for Gergerov. Knocked away by Stan Cummins. Clear to the near side now for David Byrne. If you're scoring with us at home, that first goal that Stan Cummins had, change it to Dangerfield. It will be his 11th power play goal. He claims that he hit it. He claims that he got a piece of it, so Cummins will get the assist. Stan Cummins with it now at his own red line. It did go off Earhart Cap, though, in the end, but Dangerfield claims that he hit it before. Cummins in over the spirit line now to David Byrne, reversed on the left side. Greg Thompson holding it, shooting it, and it's blocked. Clear it all the way back, and it lands on the spirit bench. Kick in will be coming up here from Minnesota. So far, you got to say so far, because Alan Willie can still beat you in the closing minute. Adam Topolsky has done a great job on him, and uh, most of the time, Willie has, has not been open enough to receive a ball. It's not that uh, anyone is intercepting passes necessarily to him or, or knocking him off the ball when he touches it. He's not finding himself in a position where he's open enough for a teammate to hit him. Well, sir, Pittsburgh has played very good defense. Uh, Bursich has been uh, on the spot when he had to be. The defense is uh, marking well. Uh, the uh, two of the three goals have come on uh, set play situations. So uh, defensively, Pittsburgh's in the game. Fogarty throws it all the way back for Tino Letieri. Right side for Fogarty. Now for UC and broken up by McKenzie. Now it's Kutsukas getting it back. Knocked down by Kuntarski. No foul call. Simmons will take it and say thank you to Leite in the box. Has Letiri and he scores. Marcio Leite gets the hat trick. But Minnesota's got to be upset because Kutsukas looked like he was legitimately fouled. Pittsburgh will take the 5-3 to three lead and give Marcio three. Uh, red hot. How about this? He's got two goals tonight with his right foot, which doesn't happen in the same game often, does it? Yeah, but he had to pass the ball in. Uh, he wasn't shooting. Time to go 137 of the fourth quarter. John O'Hara will put it in play as Minnesota draws foul number two. So Pittsburgh leads by two for the first time tonight. We'll see if you're right about that goal being important. That next goal. John O'Hara bumped by Lota Vegas. Foul. Again on Minnesota. That's great. They're halfway to foul trouble. With 13 10 to go in the fourth quarter. John O'Hara gives it to Dave McKenzie. Now to O'Hara at his own red line. Up for late tank. Turning on Fogarty. From the right wing boards, he's knocked away by Fogarty, and Yusin will bring it back. Yusin, who has not been a factor so far, brings it all the way in over the attack line. Cuts to the right of McKenzie. Now spins to the inside. Still looking. Broken up as Mack got some help, gives it to O'Hara. Johnny has it knocked away by Goosens, and it comes all the way back inside the striker red. McKenzie did an excellent job defensively on a one-on-one -on -one situation. He was able to delay you seeing long enough he had defensive support and then simply uh, coughed up the ball. Stan Cummins in the right wing corner for Alan Willie. Try to pass it across, broken up by a hard cap. Willie wins it back, right point area, Greg Thompson. Now to Stan Cummins in the neutral zone. Cummins feeding it. You see in, broken out, try to poke it between the legs of Cap. Earhart blocks him and McKenzie brings it back with the child. And now four on two as players see that and they come running. Cap will get it on the left with the passes off the mark. Earhart off the boards for child, try to bring it through, broken up. And now Terry will get it. Earhart came a long way. He had been knocked down in a collision with Willie, but he saw no one retreating from Minnesota. They must have hung back there. Well, Pittsburgh's starting to go forward, and of course that's what happens when you start playing with confidence. You have a couple goals to show for it, and they're uh, uh, willing to take some risks, throw people forward, and causing problems for Minnesota. David Byrne the other way, giving it up for Kachukas, leaves it for Alan Willie. Blocked by Topolsky. Adam doing a great job and brings it up for Child. Sends it to the left wing side for Kevin Moore. Now on the right for Zeke Kapka. To Topolsky. Tell you what, if Pittsburgh comes back and wins this, if they do, I think you've got to give Kevin Moore a lot of credit. That was the big goal that turned it into the spirit favor as the ball is cleared into the Pittsburgh bench. I'll tell you another statistic that can tell you the way the season has gone. Leite's hat trick, only the second hat trick scored this year by Pittsburgh, and the other one was scored by Helmut Dudek. A defender. Mm -hmm. So the explosiveness that they thought they had in the beginning of the season just simply has not been there. Well played at 
the near side for David Byrne. Deflected. Fogarty will get it and crank it first time, and it goes into the seats. We'll break 30 seconds and come back. Five to three, Pittsburgh and the Spirit Soccer Network. Devils. Devils. Are you going to pick them to win? Oh, yeah, they're going to win. They're tough. Oh, huh? They're tough. They're tough. They're going to win. Edmonton's beating Detroit 2 0. Civic Arena in Pittsburgh. John Paul Della Camera with Bruno Schwartz. Pittsburgh leading at 5 3 with Minnesota high pressure. Chasing Kevin Mar to the corner is Goosens. Kevin looking for help. Bangs it off the boards. Lord of Vegas coming in after it. Child, great hustle to win the ball. He'll bring it over his own red line across midfield. Good run. And then had it kicked away from behind by Lord of Vegas. But Child, what a great job to get that ball out of danger. A lot of hard work winning the ball on the boards and then simply going coast to coast with it at full speed only to have the ball kicked from behind and give it up. Tell you what, he went faster than uh, I've ever seen Paul Child run. He was really turning it out. Here's Ingram taking a shot blocked by Cummins in the box. And Lota Vegas will pick it up. Goes on the right side for Ken Fogarty. 10-12 to go. Fourth quarter. Pittsburgh trying desperately to put this one in the victory column. They lead it by two, five to three. Right side, Fogarty. Up the left wing for you see and knocked back to Lota Vegas in the neutral zone. Dwight Lota Vegas fathered by Gergerev. Lota Vegas holding it now at the midfield line. Still waiting. He waits for some movement. Dudek now marking Alan Willie. Minnesota's ball now sails into the seats out of play. Last touched by the strikers. Fogarty. So with 9.46 to go, Pittsburgh with a 5-3 lead. They don't want to sit on it. They don't want to get too defensive. What they've got to be very careful of is high pressure that Minnesota has and pressure that they may put on David Versus to try and cough up a bad pass up the middle or off to the side in their own zone. Minnesota a little bit uh, frustrated though you could see it in the, their passing and their shots a lot of them are into the seats and they're starting to watch the clock a little bit realizing that there are two goals behind and there's 939 left Stan Cummins intercepts over midfield he'll bring it into the attack zone takes the shot off a deflection and bursts for the miraculous save the change direction it looked like it was going in another shot blocked by Dudek off of you see it Thompson gets it back on a volley it's broken up by Dudek and Pittsburgh finally getting a break. That ball was deflected. That was a miraculous save by Versich. People here don't even realize he saved it because he didn't get the ovation that that one deserved. And play continues with Yusin rolling it to his right. Dudek marking him tight. Left there for Etherington. Now to Fogarty. Off the boards for Alan Willey. Dudek blasts it off the glass. Gergrev stepping in front of Fogarty. Gives it up for Godfrey. And Pittsburgh getting some good positioning here. Up the left side, Gergrev. Kuncherski running for the box. The ball not delivered there as Etherington blocks it. Gives it to Fogarty. On the left for Tasser Katsukas. Makes to go back to Loteri, and he'll bring it up the field. For David Byrne at his own red line. Byrne almost stripped of the ball by Sibis. Nice turnaround move again by David Byrne. He'll bring it all the way into the attack zone. Leads it on the right. Katsukas looking for the boards. Blocked by Gergerev. Tasso again, knocking it back out into the neutral zone with 8.28 to go. Fourth quarter. Pittsburgh up by 5-3. Lota Vegas. Cutting to the right. Still with it. Leads into the corner. Thompson. Turns. Shoots. Blocked. Topolsky will knock it away. For Ian Sibbies. He reversed it. Picked off by Katsukas. Bad pass. Katsukas shot. Save. David Bresson to beauty. Bicycle kick by Cap. Sibbies. Knocking it back, and O'Hara clears it, but Pittsburgh got a good break there. Wide open soccer now. Both teams just going all out, and no team really controlling the ball, just simply going, shooting, and uh, trying to get on the goal. Tino Lutieri giving it up on the left wing side for Lona Vegas. Leite back on now for Pittsburgh. John Popovic going uh, with a hot hand, if you will. Marcia's got the three tonight. Two off the right foot. Cap heading it up for Leite. At the red line of Minnesota, Marshall cutting outside. A wicked shot is partially blocked. He may get it back. It went high and hard for it, but it's broken up by David Byrne. Byrne running it back. Leite with a lot of energy here tonight. He came to play. David Byrne brings it into the line. Leite knocks it away. Marshall playing both ends of the field. Thompson on the left for Lota Vegas. Dwight Lota Vegas holding it. Cutting. Spinning around. Leaves it off for Goosens. Now for Thompson. Left wing side, it goes for Ola Vegas. 
Minnesota down by a couple. Lota Vegas cuts to the outside. Towards the corner as pass is blocked. You see and will get it. Bumped by Leite and you see and goes down. We've got a foul on Marcio. First foul on Pittsburgh this quarter. 6.55 left in the game and the Spirit leading it 5-3. to three. Win it or lose it. This is their best offense, best offensive effort since the 7-1 uh, win over Chicago. Stan Cummins lifting it to the box. You see and flicks it back out. Thompson heading it down for Lota Vegas to the far side. McKenzie heads it away. Lota Vegas on his horse to get it. Knocks it back for Latouri. Sivis is going to put some high pressure on him. Now he backs off as Latouri feeds on the left for Lota Vegas. Dwight Lota Vegas holding it. Over the midfield line he goes. Still with it. Across the spirit red line. Wonder if Minnesota may go to a sixth attack pretty soon. We'll wait and see. Off the boards, O'Hara will knock it away. Tino Latouri at his own red line. Looking at the bench of Alan Merrick. Now plays it on the left side for Etherington. Still too soon in my book anyway to go for a sixth attack. But the thought will be on Alan Merrick's mind as the seconds tick off. Especially if it stays at a two goal lead for Pittsburgh. Leite with it. To Earhart Cap at his own red line. Left side McKenzie for Sibbies. Ian trying to bring it in over the red line for Leite. Give and go. Broken up. Nice run back by Gary Etherington. Marcia playing with a lot of flair, and not only offensive flair, but defensive. He's playing uh, very well, coming up with steals. You see him for Katsukas on the left wing. Tasso in the offensive zone. Back out for you see him, holding it. Still waiting. He rolls to the right on Ingram. Cuts to the middle. Nice move. A shot blocked by Kevin Moore and Denton at speed of the ball, enabling Pittsburgh to clear it out. That one looked like it was going to be labeled. Played up now for Alan Willie. McKenzie knocks it away and Child is back. Pittsburgh really helping each other on defense, but it's knocked away by Willie. He'll get it back from Katsukas, but not in a good position to shoot. And Marr will take it away. Blocked off his own player. Loose ball, Willie. Towards the near post, headed away by Marr. Ingram trying to settle and gives it for Kapka. For McKenzie now to Ingram, who breaks out two on two over midfield. Lead on the chip to Paul Child, but it's away from him. Child will get it on the far wing boards. Brings it back out into the neutral zone where Zeke Kapka waits for it. Zeke plays it ahead for Ingram. Godfrey bumped. Gets away from Katsukas. Goes around him. Left wing. Plays it in the box. Kapka can't turn. Goosens will pick it off. Jan Goosens running it back. Two on two. Now three on three. Goosens feeds right for David Byrne. Kevin Marr on him. Byrne steps around him. Nice move. Brings it into the box. And it goes in off Kapka. It went right in off the right foot of Z Kapka, who is facing David Bursich. That's the second goal that goes in off a spirit player. 5-4 Pittsburgh leads. Pittsburgh, unfortunately. I, I thought you were speechless. I, I, I'm stunned. I'm really stunned because Pittsburgh was playing so well. They were able to control the ball. They uh, dictated the game. And here, Minnesota comes through and gets one of those... So directed towards goal, but it was unfortunate because, like you were saying, Pittsburgh was supporting and breaking things up. That's as good a defensive effort as they've had in any segment of this game. It's been so fantastic for the season. Pittsburgh uh, playing so well and then having to give up uh, on those silly goals, as it were, and the other teams really don't earn them. It's just that your, your play, your hustle, simply get, puts the other team back in the game. Dudek sends a long ball the other way. Greg Thompson is on it. Pittsburgh cannot afford to let themselves get down on that. Civis will pick it up. 40 feet away. Pulls it. Gives it to Gergerev. Pittsburgh looking. Gergerev shot blocked. Stan Cummins will move it upfield for Alan Woolley. Woolley up the left wing side of the run, but Topolsky cuts it off. Knocks it back to the feet of David Bursich. Left wing for Dudek. Back for David Bursich. Overhand toss on the left for Dudek and run it over midfield. Chase from behind by Byrne. Dudek gets free from 40. He made crazy he does. He scores! Kuchorski may have tipped it home, but Pittsburgh will get a very big score. They lead 6-4. Big score, but we'll see. Somebody deflected it. If it's not Kuchorski, it went off a Minnesota player. Spirit leading 6-4. to Thompson, you see him, will become the sixth attacker sooner than Alan Merrick may have wanted to because of that last goal that was given up. While it was a one-goal game, he probably would have played it a little bit longer. Intercepted by Ingram. The net is empty. Ingram scores. That should do it. Godfrey Ingram shot it from about 50 feet away. You see him did. 
what six attackers are not supposed to do. One on one, he made the bad passes. Nobody home. Ingham unassisted at 11 16, his 24th goal of the year. You see him just plain and simple, gave it away. Goosen's now up the left side for Cummins. Long pass broken up. Ingram will get it again on the right wing boards. Plays it in the middle for Topolsky. Adam gives it right for Ingram. Now played back to Dave McKenzie. Strikers are forced to chase it. Topolsky back to the feet of David Bursich. There's still enough time for Minnesota, but I think that last goal, if Pittsburgh can play the way they have played most of this quarter, it should be enough. Goose is up the right side, but this is indoor soccer, so who knows, right? On the left, Cummins. Dangerfield nailed by Topolsky. A foul called on Adam. Second Push foul call. Adam trying to apologize. Dangerfield says, don't bother. Basically. Well, Adam going out of his way to say, I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. Adam is a very uh, a tenacious tackler, and he's simply into the game tonight, doing an excellent job marking, and just came in very hard, and then apologetically, in a very sportsmanlike. You see it. Now to Goose is a shot blocked by Bresich, who gets nailed by Dangerfield. And they're going to call just a foul on Chris Dangerfield. That might be a little frustration. That might be. That is. I'll take that back. He literally, Dangerfield literally forced Bursich out of the penalty box while he was holding the ball. Simmons turning on a defender. Gives it up to Cap. You see him back in goal. Erhard shooting it. Blocked up his own player, Simmons. Ian off the boards. Keeps it alive for Godfrey Ingram. Godfrey plays it back to Topolsky. Pittsburgh trying to use that clock as well. They've got a 7-4 lead. McKenzie on the left side to Erhard Cap. For Simmons. Knocked away by Kachukas. Plays it back to the feet of Thompson. You see him. Now for Stan Cummins. You see him holding it up the right side for Jan Gusens. In the corner for Willie, who has not been a factor tonight. Left wing side Cummins from Gusens. Shot taken or pass to Willie was too high for him to head it home. Kept alive Gusens. Cutting for Willie. They try to give and go. Nobody home. Gusens had been knocked down. And they're going to call a foul on Pittsburgh. It'll be their third. It's an obstruction foul. And it'll be an indirect kick for Minnesota right on the edge of the penalty box. Stan Cummins gives to Goosens a shot blocked by Ingram. Cummins knocked it back. Not good enough for you. See, and Simmons almost got it. You see it in trouble against two players. Spins away, gets away from them. Up the left wing side for Dangerfield. In the corner for Katsukas. Off the boards. Rebound missing is Cummins. Wide open and he missed. You see, and knocks it away now for Dangerfield. His shot saved. David Bursich from point blank range. Beautiful stop by Bursich. Now it is Katsukas again to the left wing side for Stan Cummins. He should have had one earlier. Goes far side, off the crossbar. Dangerfield. Bursich may have been the fingertip on it. Up for Ingram. Godfrey shooting long off the post. Yes! Godfrey Ingram, and it's 8 for Pittsburgh. Got to watch the flight of that ball. It was either going to go off the post again or. If it touched any other part of that post, it was going to be wide. On the Ingram goal. Minnesota struggling now, obviously. They're out of this one. Down by four with a minute three to go. Fogarty up the left wing side. A lot of Vegas. Back for you, see it. Well, the sixth attacker certainly backfired here. On the right side, Fogarty for you, see him. In the box, a quick shot, and Tony Bono on his first shift and shot puts it upstairs. We're going to break 30 seconds and come right back. 8-4 Pittsburgh and the Spirit Soccer Network.
Back live, and the strikers send the ball. That's Lota Vegas off the glass and out of play. Pittsburgh will have a big win, and the way this was going in the first half, I don't think anyone expected anyone, including Don Popovic, eight goals for Pittsburgh, but they've gotten a Marcio Ete, one of the heroes with three, and then Pittsburgh gets a couple there on the sixth attacker, but they really came up with a big effort when they needed it. I to told you it was going to be a wide open game in the high scoring well, game. You were right for one quarter, I was right for three. <laughs> Let's be honest. The ball is cleared by Topolsky off the boards. David Byrne <laughs> battling. And a whistle and a foul, and Pittsburgh will be there for it. Stan Cummins now the other way. A change in assist. We'll give it to you in a moment. Eight seconds left. Fogarty in the corner. I thought McKenzie gave the ball to Ingram. It's shot long by Topolsky. It's not going to go. The horn sounds, and that's it. It was McKenzie, not Versace, who gets the assist. I knew someone had passed.